the doctors and the nurses here at the immunology uh, clinics are wonderful. Um, every time we come in, um, they're very attentive, and then especially in this study, um, Dr. Yu uh, explained thoroughly the whole study, um, and I was able to call her uh, anytime if I had any questions. Um, and she's basically the, the main um, primary f uh, physician for Ryan. Um, he, well, he sees Dr. Yu um, every couple months, like three to six months. And then we also were enrolled in a study, peanut study, that involved uh, giving him Zolaire every two weeks for, I think, for almost like six to eight months. And that was successful? Very, very successful. Uh, Ryan was able to, um, at the end of the study, he was able to participate in a food challenge test which gave him the equivalent, I believe, of about 15 um, peanuts. And he, I think, uh, tolerated very well. So we offer the full gamut of allergy testing, uh, diagnostics, and evaluation. So we can take care of children with food allergies, and we have a particular interest in researching food allergies to peanuts, tree nuts, as well as eggs. Um, but any type of food we can take care of in terms of food allergies. We also have uh, services for asthma. We have a respiratory therapist on site who does education and pulmonary function tests. Um, we treat for allergic rhinoconjunctivitis and we are able to offer um, medications as well as information about allergy avoidance to things you're allergic to and offer allergy shots um, should you so desire to have your child on allergy shots. Um, we take care of children with chronic hives, um, any type of swelling that's concerning for allergies. We also have a full range of immunology services as well, so anything that comes across our door we're usually able to take care of. Um, so Dr. Nadeau, who's my boss, has probably about 12 research trials going on in allergy immunology. Um, the one that I'm working on with her is peanut and tree nut oral immunotherapy, where we're able to desensitize children who have life-threatening nut allergy uh, to, those, to those particular foods so that in case they have an accidental ingestion, um, it won't be life-threatening. So there's a number of research trials, and the whole motivation to the research trials is to help move science forward and be able to help our patients.